Good morning to the grade threes. Uh, we have been doing violin now for a couple of weeks, and we're really getting the, the game rolling now. But I want to just uh, spend a few minutes talking to you about uh, some of the things we've been doing so that you can help your children at home. Uh, the most important things that we've been trying to deal with in the first week and a half or so is to get good bow holds and good violin holds. It's uh, so important to have, have a good bow hold uh, established. And so I want to just spend a few minutes showing, uh, well, a minute or so showing you this. Uh, when you hold the bow, this piece here is called the frog. And the thumb should just be touching the frog like that, not trying to put it right in there, just touching the frog. The middle finger goes opposite the thumb, and the middle two fingers are together. And if you notice, my pinky's on its tip here, and my index is just forward slightly. So again, the thumb curved against the uh, hair a little bit, uh, and just touching the frog. Pinky is curved. Notice all my joints are curved. Imagine holding a ball. If you're holding a ball, all your joints are curved. When we hold the bow, we want to have that same kind of curvature. So, curved thumb, middle finger opposite, pinky's on its tip, and the first finger forward slightly. And I've seen a lot of good bow holds right in the class, which is terrific to see. Uh, so that's the, the basic thing about the bow hold. And now I want to talk about violin hold, which is just as important. Uh, without a bow, good bow hold, we can't make good sound. But with the violin itself, we've got to hold that properly too. And what we've been trying to uh, encourage the children to do is to make sure that this, the, the sponge, uh, I have a shoulder rest, but they, a lot of them have sponges, to make sure that that sponge is really landing on the shoulder. Okay? What I don't want to see is the violin sitting on the chest like this. Okay? We want to make sure the violin is truly on the shoulder like this. And this piece is called a chin rest, but I like to put my jaw in there. So in the class I've been calling this a jaw rest. So we, we put our jaw in there like that, make sure the violin is on the shoulder like this. Okay? If we let the children do what's, what seems easiest to them, they'll put the violin on the chest like this, and put the chin in there like this, and we don't want to see that. So, on the shoulder, jaw in the jaw rest, and, and then the other thing is to make sure the wrist is really straight like this. Okay, and try not to let this happen, because this is what beginning students always do, but we want to try and get this. Okay, so the, the quick uh, uh, review with the violin hold, make sure it's on the shoulder, jaw on the jaw rest, and straight wrist like this. Okay. The thumb should be about equal to the, the first finger, roughly. Uh, we put tapes on the violins. I put th there's three tapes on all the violins. And those three tapes are meant to show the children exactly where to land their fingers. So first finger tape is about there, second finger is there, and the third finger is very close like that. And you can see I have my thumb about equal to the first tape, roughly. Okay. Uh, now, as far as holding the violin itself too, you can try and make your thumb, uh, like there's a bone here, there's a bone here, and you want to try and make the, the neck of the violin rest on that bone there, like this, and make the other side rest like that, okay, sort of like that, as much as possible. That's, I know that's a lot to think about, but let's, we want to try and establish that as well as possible and to have the wrist straight like that. Okay, and in the class itself, we've been doing, in terms of what we're playing, we've been doing long bows on the A string like this, and on the E string, and we've been going back and forth like this, Today we talked about a rhythm called Mississippi Hot Dog, and I've been, I got the kids to say it a number of times and they got really, really good at doing that, and then I got them to play that rhythm with their bow like this. So we said Mississippi Hot Dog, and that's how we played it. And then we did this on, on Twinkle. to try, we just barely did a little bit on this 
today. One, two, three fingers on the A string like that. And then we go three, two, one, zero, we play three, two, that bit again I'll zoom in yeah so I'll play that again for you and so here it is so a sits on top of the bow stick. Um, these fingers will wrap over, they'll curl over the, the stick, but the pinky should sit on top and the thumb should contact with the tip, not the pad, but basically the tip of the thumb and right in between this little leather pad and the, the, the corner of the frog, okay, and basically opposite the second finger. There's a little bit of wiggle room um, and a couple of cautionaries, um, the most correct bow hold, if it's too tight, still won't be any good, okay? So we got to have it loose and relaxed, and a good way to do that is to kind of not be too careful in putting the bow on the string. You can kind of, I call it climbing on the horse, you kind of get in the saddle however, however you need to, however you can, then you can feel little adjustments with a little bit of weight on the string in the, basically in the middle of the bow, maybe in the lower part of the bow, okay? And just, you can practice walking around the house, you can practice going up and down on your toes, make sure that your, that your feet are, are comfortable and that your body is like the trunk of a tree, really balanced, okay? And, all right, so that's a good way to, 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 to uh, go about it because if you try to be too correct and careful, still won't get a good sound, so it's got to be relaxed and loose. Um, and I think that pretty much covers it, Mr. Suderman, and that we want the kids practicing lots of... that kind of thing. Don't necessarily need to go all the way to the frog or all the way to the tip yet. The middle two-thirds of the bow is fine.